What's up everyone? Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to the channel if you're new. So today we're gonna to do another gun related uh, video. No truck or car work today. But we're gonna talk about this new Marlin Trapper that I was lucky enough to find. I wanted to give you guys an idea of what you're gonna get in the box and then we're gonna go shoot it. I'm gonna give you first impressions. You know, before we do all of our mods, we are going to slow-mo video the recoil and I'm gonna pair it up later on when I get the DEF CON light and we're gonna see if it actually made that difference. Anyway, this is everything that I have right now. All right, let's, uh, let me get you guys up here so we can open the box and I'll show you what comes right in the box right when I open it. All right, so let me see if I can get us in this box without doing a bunch of shadows because I want you guys to see exactly what it's going to look like right when you open up fresh. So you're going to get a little piece of foam and then there she is. Very nice. Whew. All right, she got an owner's manual. Let's you know 1895 and 336. Obviously, this is the 1895 Trapper uh, with the 16 inch barrel. Let's pop it out of the plastic real quick. Very nice. So, sitting like this. So, it's got a chamber flag in there. Something else from Marlin here. It looks like, oh, nice. They give you a little, the little hook for the hammer in the back. Put your thumb on there. Nice lock. Looks like a sticker over there. And, oh, for the Skinner sights. Perfect. So that's basically everything that you're going to get in this box. Let's make sure there isn't anything else thrown in anywhere else. No. All right. Let me, I'm going to set it up on the table, and we're going to talk about it for a sec. So let's get into, so just, I wanted to get into right now trying to find one of these. Um, probably took me about two months. Um, I couldn't find one, and I was getting to the point where I was going to order one online. Um, anywhere I looked online, the cheapest one I could find was sixteen fifty. And then and there was a gun show coming. Uh, it was like a, a week before the gun show, I found one at sixteen fifty, which was the cheapest I could find. So I told myself, look, I'm going to probably hit up the gun show. If I don't get lucky at the gun show, I'm just going to order that one. I was willing to pay the little bit of extra. But then... Like, I want to say on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, the weekend of the gun show, I had one of my boys, Mr. Outdoors in Overland, again came through. Uh, he sent me a photo. He's like, hey, we got a trapper in a local shop down here. It's Addison. Yeah, Addison over in Kissimmee. Um, and I was like, dude, no way. I made the call right there. I think it was they posted it up on Facebook. It probably lasted half an hour. Um, and I was told when I got there to pick it up that while I was on the phone, Somebody else was on the phone, and it's whoever paid fastest got it. So and it happened to be me. Um, and by the way, no price gouging from Addison. We got it. We got it here, and I didn't get price gouged on the price. So that is, I wanted to get that out of the way because they're not very easy to find right now. Well, a couple things that I feel like we should get out of the way. Uh, one is ammo is expensive, so it is pricey. Uh, 20 rounds is anywhere from like 50 to 70 bucks depending on what you buy. So understand that ammo is pricey I mean once you're out at the range after you shoot like 40 rounds anyways You're gonna be like yeah, my shoulder needs a break. So you're good It's not like a 9 mil or an AR where you can just sit there all day and shoot. It's gonna bother you It's gonna hurt but just prepare for that uh, Number two, I know someone out there in the comments is gonna be like you don't need a 4570 And I'm gonna be like dude, you're probably right uh, You know this is a big game gun. It's fun. It's an iconic caliber. It's going to be around forever. It has been around forever already. So I'm going to put a video over here of my driveway like last Tuesday. Um, so you guys know what comes around my house. So that bear is always here at any day of the week in the backyard chilling. He's by the pool. He's over here. I had a gator in the pool two weeks ago. So things happen here. Now I have this guy for that for whatever it's worth. I can say I got bears on my property. If I need it, I got it. All right. Get that one out of the way. Next thing to get out of the way, um, I really, what got me started on all this, I really like the Henry All Weather. Um, but I was doing some research in the barrels a little bit longer. I don't want to give you a measurement because I don't remember right now. But one of the reasons why I like that All Weather was because of the finish. I thought the finish was really nice. And I thought, man, that one done would look good. But then I started really getting into it. I came across the Trapper and I was like, oh, the finish is about the same. But the Trapper's 16 inch barrel and then threaded kind of got me away from the all weather. So Henry's all weather doesn't have a threaded barrel. 
and it is longer. So if you plan to use this as like a truck gun, the smaller the barrel, the better. Because anybody who's done, you know, small team vehicle stuff, you know a 16-inch AR, excuse me, you know a 16-inch AR in a vehicle is a pain. So having the smaller the barrel, the better. I know it's still a 16-inch, so I got that. Uh, it's just smaller than, let's say, the SBL, which has a 19-inch barrel. Um, and I also like the SBL, too. It also comes threaded, but the finish on this, I like it more. The SBL is real, real shiny. I like that this is a little bit dull, almost like a bead blast stainless. Um, in terms of like how everything fits, and I mean, everything is really nice. Everything fits good. Like I really have no complaints. I'm not a purist when it comes to this. I will say that if I had a lever action gun that like was my grandpa's, you know, from like the 40s and the 50s, I would not space cowboy it. But something like this, I have no issues doing it. This is new and fun. And I know people out there are going to hate it and some people are going to love it, but it's fun. Um, I can say for me, I've never built a lever action. Um, and then in all fairness, in all honesty, I haven't built a rifle probably in like 10 years. So um, my rifles are either Form 1 or bought in pieces. So for me, it was kind of odd buying a full length rifle because some of the laws have changed in the last 10 years. So it was kind of interesting, but we worked through it. Um, that's just for me. But that's just kind of my level of excitement for something like this because I haven't Never built a lever action and I haven't built anything in a long time. So it's kind of a big deal for me. So that is exciting. And, you know, it's fun. This is going to be more fun than anything else for me. All right, man. Enough of me yapping. Let's get to the range. Okay, so first, sorry about all the noise here, obviously. We're at Aries Training Facility. I kind of love this place already. Private berm. If you're a member, you can request your own berms. Love it. I got to deal with anybody. Hey, right away. Man, that 4570 kicks, but it kicks so good. It feels so nice. Uh, I'm probably like 10 yards right now from the target. So I think I pulled two looking at that right now. We can go up there and take a look at this. So once the build out is done, this was the first test run. Once the build out is done, I plan to come back, get the same berm, during the same, and then, you know, analyze the two together and check that recoil back and forth. So I slow mode a couple shots here just so you can get a feel for the recoil, kind of get an idea of what it's actually like. And this is just something I do when I get a new rifle. You'll see me drop the sights between the shots. I'm not trying to be all tactical and bullshit with it. I'm just trying to get a feel for how it cycles, how it shoots, what it feels like. I like to do that the first time I take a rifle out. So I just ripped off about 40 rounds. I know, expensive day out here today with the 4570, but it is what it is. It's just every round is just stress going down range. It's amazing. I will say that the barrel did get a little hot. So if you're one of those guys that likes to kind of come over, uh, the barrel is going to get hot. So keep that in mind. Um, some of the, I think Midwest has a rail guard that goes over the top, which might be better for you. Guys. Let's walk down. Let's walk down to the target. I want you guys to take a look at that. So there you get an idea. I'm obviously kind of shooting a little low, but I'm good. This is actually where I was hitting at. I feel like I pulled these two, maybe three right there that I pulled, which isn't terrible. First time shooting it, not bad. I like that now. Oof. All right, so my shoulder took a beating, uh, but it was fun. It was worth it. Uh, I shot everything a little low. Um, you know, I didn't go very long distance. I think the most I stayed at was about 10 yards, and it was just dead nuts at 10 yards, which is really nice. So no complaints on the shooting. I do feel like the trigger uh, could be a lot softer. I feel like it's a little hard. There's not a ton of slack in it, but I want it way softer, which is why we're going to update. Um, so all that is coming down the pipe here. Um, impressions of my of shooting with it, I mean... It's just a powerful gun. Like it definitely, like even 
you're kind of expecting the shot, which kind of sucks because I don't want to do that. Like, I like to be surprised every time. But with this, you're like, man, I got to get ready. And I don't know, there was one in the 40 in there somewhere where I might have opened up my shoulder a little bit too much when I first put the gun in it. And and I felt that one the most. Some of the other ones I was, like, good with, but one of them caught me really good. And, like, I swore right now I can feel it. It's going to hurt tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, that's it. Uh, so in terms of like what's going to happen, I was lucky enough to find an aim point acro. So it's going to get a mailbox on top of a Scala Works mount, which is kind of nice. And it, the acros are pretty hard to find right now. So I found one. Um, Chisel Manufacturing is going to get buttstock and the handguard. I got their handguard too, which I don't think I've seen anybody do their handguard yet. So I'm going to do that. The internals are going to get worked on, you know, springs, triggers have a new lever coming in. So I do like the big levers. I feel like this one is a little too big. Like I wanted to kind of be in the middle of this. So we picked up some stuff from Ranger Precision to get all that in and done. So that's coming up down the pipe. Uh, but yeah, should be a fun gun and it's going to be a fun build for me. So I hope you guys tag along and enjoy. Um, if you got any suggestions or you think anything that I should do, or if you find ammo cheaper, if you find forty-five, seventy less than 50 bucks a box or like $49, $47 a box, let me know. I need to order some. But you guys be good. Stay safe out there. If you have any questions for me or anything that you want to see, definitely let me know. Uh, I just got, I need, so I just need one piece, man. I am waiting. I'm waiting on Grizzly Gunworks, the light. Defcon light muzzle brake. Once I get that, I'll start doing the build on this. I want to have it all together. And then the plan is once it's done and built, I'm going to take it out to the range again and we're going to shoot it again. And then I kind of want to compare the recoil because the Defcon light is saying almost like a 70% recoil reduction, which is an enormous amount of recoil on this gun. So it's going to be amazing. But guys, as always, I appreciate you sticking around. I hope that you continue to stick around. If you don't mind, I would love it if you like and subscribe and just watch my build process. You guys be good. <laughs> Stay safe out there.